from her acrobatic skills to mesmerizing vocals, Pink certainly puts on a good show. The global hitmaker is currently embarking on her summer carnival tour across the UK and Europe and has pulled out all the stops. Kicking off the show, she burst out of a giant mouth above the stage belting out Get the Party Started, cementing the party atmosphere for the evening. Known for her impressive shows, the mother of two didn't hold back as she put on a full carnival display, with giant palm trees, dancing and fireworks. As if this wasn't enough, the songstress Bungie jumped onto the stage, held up by just two pieces of rope, with an audible gasp heard as she delved towards the stage. Taking to the stage at the University of Bolton Stadium, the megastar ensured all eyes were on her as she delved through her back catalogue with tracks including Who Knew and Raise Your Glass. Despite the scorching temperatures and blistering sun making sure everybody worked up a sweat, this appeared to be at the back of fans' minds as they danced the night away to some of their favorite songs. In keeping with her upbeat hits, the Pennsylvania-born star whose real name is Alicia Moore offered a different approach to her song, What About Us with what can only be described as a club classic remix, perfect for the summer weather. But while her music had people dancing away, she made the brave decision, which paid off, to slow things down with an acoustic set with herself and her guitarist Justin Dorico commanding the stage with just their voices and a guitar. Despite being one of the most famous names on the planet, Pink halted her performance to explain that a fan she appeared to know via social media was in attendance. But things became even more emotional when she revealed the girl's father's ashes had been spread at the football stadium before she dedicated When I Get There to the female fan, Amy Lee Green Hug. Pink had originally written the song for her late father, Jim Moore, which left Amy Lee in tears, as the singer said she wouldn't be looking at anybody in a bid to hold her tears in. Although Pink got Amy Lee's name wrong having mistaken it for her fiancé's, she told the crowd, there was a girl named Sarah Elizabeth and I think her Instagram was the future Marstoons and I think she is here tonight so I hope it is okay to share but who did put it on Instagram, that her dad's ashes are actually scattered here. How beautiful is that? It's incredible and I was crying last night during when I got there and I was just about to get it together when everyone else started crying and it was just a s show. Sarah, Amy Lee, this is for your papa. As if things were not emotional enough, Pink was joined by her daughter Willow Sage Hart to perform Cover Me in Sunshine, leaving the audience roaring with emotions as they applauded the 12-year-old for performing in front of 28,000 music lovers. Despite the show coming to an end with many winding down for the night, this wasn't the case for Pink as she once again strapped herself into a bungee to perform So What, being catapulted across the stadium while still belting out one of her biggest songs. The singer was in touching distance for most fans who couldn't believe their luck, with her impressive skills seeing her appear at the furthest point of the stadium. Overall, the Summer Carnival Tour is hands down one of the best concerts, ever. P. and K. Summer Carnival Tour continues across Europe. Her final UK performances will be as the headliner at London's iconic Hyde Park as part of American Express Presence VST Hyde Park on June 24th and 25th.
drama.